Let's talk about how Linkerd enables multi-cluster communication. So let's imagine that you have two Kubernetes clusters. I'll have an East cluster. And a West cluster. Now these, both of these clusters already have Linkerd installed. So they have a Linkerd control plane Pods are configured with Linkerd sidecar proxies, and they have MTLS infrastructure already enabled within the clusters. The Linkerd multi-cluster extension has two components that transparently enables cross-cluster communication as if they're part of a single service mesh. This has two components. One is the service mirror. The other is a gateway. You can think of the gateway as an ingress, but a special ingress just for Linkerd's multi, uh, MTLS functionality. The gateway only allows communication from other Linkerd proxies and other clusters that it trusts. The service mirror is configured with information about the cluster it's targeting, in this case, the West cluster. And it watches services over here. And as services are created, it can import them, it doesn't have to, it can import services from this cluster. So let's say in the West service, we create a FIPI service. It has pods, of course. The service mirror will observe that and it will replicate a service over here called Fippy West. This allows applications in this cluster to address this service and access pods in this cluster as if they're in a single cluster. This works because the service mirror here, as it sees the service be created, it creates a single endpoint or, or a few endpoints that only reflect the gateway IP address. So anything that connects to the cluster IP of Fippy West in the East cluster ends up being routed by the Linkerd proxy to the gateway which then forwards it to the pods in the FIPI cluster there. You can also get fancy and add a traffic split in this cluster so that pods in this cluster don't have to know about the West cluster explicitly. And that can be toggled either by a failover operator like the Linkerd failover operator or manually to, to shift traffic between these clusters so that if the FIPI pods in this cluster are unavailable, we can transparently fail back to the pods in the other cluster. It's important to note that again, that this requires MTLS. This means that we need common trust routes, common certificate infrastructure across these clusters for this to work properly. The gateway pods need to be able to trust the pods that, and authenticate the pods that connect to it. And the, the pods in the East cluster need to be able to be sure that it's actually talking to a Linkerd gateway and not talking to some malicious service out on the internet. And in fact, what happens if some bad actor comes in and tries to connect? To the gateway. Well, they're not going to be part of the service mesh. They're not going to be trusted by the gateway here. And this connection will be rejected. It won't be allowed. You can get really complicated and add operators on here to make this more powerful if you need. But 
Again, this is all built on Kubernetes primitives. We use cluster or load balancers services in one cluster to expose traffic to others. And this is just using service objects and endpoints and things that are already in your Kubernetes cluster. No CRDs are needed for this. Uh, and it, it all works out of the box. It's not too much, too much work.